Today is Duck Diary Day. I don't know what day it is. I don't remember anymore. We are filling up the brooder in our garage. And we're not going to need all of that. I'm not dumping all of it. Okay. We're not using all of it. And we are moving the ducks from upstairs in the office where we had a mini brooder set up to down here in the garage. Uh, they're a week old. They're getting too big for the mini brooder. Jackie's out here planting the peppers, which we just got. We didn't have a lot of luck starting our own peppers this year. These are our peppers. This one did okay. Those were okay, but they've been in the greenhouse now for almost three weeks and really haven't done that great. So we did what any totally self-sufficient homesteading family would do and... Hot peppers. We bought our pepper plants this year. I don't know what it is. Last year our pepper plants, they started just fine and we had them in the ground and we were getting peppers from them all year. This year, we did the exact same thing and our pepper plants just never really took off. They've been planted since, I think we planted them back in March, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, we start, I think we started them like March 20th and it's now June 1st and they're still two inches tall. They were in a nice warm, sunny window. The only difference between last year and this year is we used heating pads last year. We thought that the heating mats would help to start things along with the LED lights. So we did it last year, but this year we didn't do it because we had them in a nice sunny window. And we were thinking we don't need heating mats if they're gonna be getting sun all day. So that's really the only difference we can think of. Um, the other thing is maybe the seeds were old. Were they new pepper seeds this year? Um, maybe not. I can't really remember. Yeah, it could also be that I, we might have not gotten new pepper seeds this year. I forget if we bought new seeds or not. It could have been last year's stock, so maybe they were just a little bit slow to start. Who knows? quick little update on everybody else chicken gang is completely normal you can see over there we did take the new egg layers off the brooder so they're now outside without heat they're about nine or ten weeks now I forget exactly but they're off heat at this point we put them outside two weeks ago and they've been doing just fine they're in our Lumna acres style chicken tractor which unfortunately had sustained some damage after a windstorm last year and getting snowed on heavily I was very excited. So the chicken tractor took some damage this year. We are going to be replacing that chicken tractor with a Suskovich style chicken tractor. We'll do a video on that coming up. I've still got to build them, but we have 60 meat birds coming the tail end of July, and I'm going to run them in Suskovich style tractors instead of the Lumna Acres style tractors. You okay? This is just great. I have a dog that's going to yak on camera. I have a screaming toddler. And I'm trying to talk chickens. Look for a video upcoming on homesteading with a toddler.
All right, now I'll take you out and I'll show you the pigs, which was a topic of discussion on one of our last videos. I'll link that up here in the corner. But we had some reservations about the pigs that we had brought on to the homestead this year. Actually, it's time to give the pigs their afternoon feed, so let's do that. Come on, let's go out. We're going. Can you step? Good job. After the last couple weeks, we've been really happy with how the pigs have been going. Originally, we were a little bit bummed out that they were smaller than we wanted and we were worried if we were kind of starting behind the eight ball with them. In the last two weeks that we've had them, they've put on a bunch of weight. Any small respiratory issues that we were worried about have gone completely away. There's no coughing, there's no sneezing. Everyone's eating really well, so we're happy with where we're at. These guys have been doing really well. They've been starting to really do a number on the pen that we have them in as well. Right now where we've got them, there's a big stump, which you can see behind me. They've been working super hard on that. It's pretty rotten and it would be a great thing for them to kind of take down and eat. If you look behind me in the brooder, you may see that there are not two ducks in there anymore. That last footage that I showed you, that was shot probably about two weeks ago and the ducks have since gotten much bigger. With that passing of time, we have also added some more ducks to the flock. We decided that if we were gonna be running the heat lamp, it made much more sense to have more ducks in there than just two. In the last video, there are actually some people that commented and said, hey, you better hope those aren't two drakes. And I had kind of played it off a little bit. But we also picked up from somebody else who lives in New Hampshire, four Welsh Harlequin ducklings. Uh, they're straight run, so we don't know if they're male or female. It made a lot more sense to us to raise six ducklings instead of two, especially when we didn't know what we were getting from the eggs that we hatched from Morgan up at Goldshaw. So we added those four ducklings in and we're hoping, fingers crossed, that three of them are going to be regular female ducks. You know, we always run the risk there could be three drakes in there and we could have two drakes and we could have five drakes. The wondrous, feature about ducks is that ducks are edible. If worse comes to worse and we have a bunch of drakes, we can take those drakes and butcher them and turn them into dinner. Jackie and I both like duck, so that's not really too much of an issue. That's gonna be it for today's video. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to head down below and hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And leave a comment if you have any questions or wanna know more about what we're doing here on the farm. Jackie's out picking some spinach behind me and we're gonna head inside and have dinner. So as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day, bye.